Bonjour, Mr. Chania. Um, I'm just going to walk you through the components of your project, which is like the next part of your your project after your proposal. So after your proposal, you kind of get a fair idea of what you're going to end up doing, whether it be a game, a print design, or a video or audio. So um, hopefully now you kind of you got it, you're getting a fair idea of what your game or video or whatever is going to actually look like and how it's going to be played or how it's going to be how it's going to be arranged like you know images and and text in the magazine or you know like what what scenes are going on in your video and audio um so uh what's this table say like so basically uh these different things are the components of your project um which are basically like the parts of your project that you have to worry about. So for instance, in a game, you have to worry about what the words look like, the fonts um, that appear on the screen. You have to worry about the color of the characters, the background, the objects, you know, the text. You have to worry about the pictures that you use in your game. Um, we won't worry about design for now. Um, mechanics, that's like um, the controls of the character. What can the character do? Can all Does all of it work? Can you move up, down, left, right? Can you jump? Can you... Uh, do actions if that's like if if you wrote in your if, um yeah that that's basically it um story goal is like uh what is the story of your game what is the goal of it so you, you know like you're seeing um the diff this is basically a breakdown of everything you have to worry about in your game um it's just going to feed into your planning this is basically like um yeah uh but we'll talk about that later um, so yeah, but if you haven't figured it out by now, um, if it, if there's a tick, it means you have to worry about it for this, uh, for your project. If there's an X, it means you don't have to worry about it. So if you're playing, if you're making a game, uh, you have to worry about font, color, pictures, design, mechanics, story goal, but you don't have to worry about it, uh, about audio or script. Um, if you're making a print design, you'd only worry about font, color, pictures, design, but you wouldn't worry about the rest of them. Yeah. Um, you might see that there's less ticks in some parts, and don't mistake that for less work. Um, I have kind of high expectations for video and audio when it comes to the script. Um, so that's kind of where it cancels out. Um, okay, so what do they all mean? I, well, I kind of gave you a fair idea of some of these, but um, in order to actually like figure out every single element, like uh, t in order to figure out what your game is going to look like entirely, you're going to answer these questions um, to deal with all these components of the project. So font, decide what font is best for your project. How does it help communicate the message of inquiry? Um, what colors will you use for a project? How does it help communicate the message of your inquiry? It, you know, like for every single one of these, basically, other than design and script, you just have to worry about, um, you have to worry about um, the how it communicates your message like your, your the, the message in your inquiry question, your answer to your inquiry question. So like, say for instance, my, my inquiry question was, um, is vaping illegal? And I came up with the fact, uh, with my belief that vaping should be banned or, or I came up with the idea that vaping is neg negatively fixed people, then um, my font, my color, my pictures and my game, for instance, would have to reflect that. Like it would have to show um, be connected to that idea that vape uh, of vaping and that it's a negative effect and its negative effect. So um, that might sound complex. I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. So here's an ex my example, a successful example of uh, me answering these questions. Um, again, don't worry about design and script. Um, but if, for instance, if we're looking at game, we've got font, color, pictures, mechanics, and story goal to worry about. Um, here we are. So Story goal, mechanics, font, color, pictures. Right. So, um, story goal. Uh, it's it's asking, what is the story of your game? What is the goal of the game? How does it help communicate the message of your inquiry? So, my story revolves around a student of Mangare College. She is walking down the hallways of the school and must look at all the posters before she leaves the school. So that's kind of like the goal. It's showing the goal of the game and kind of the story of the game, right? And how does it help communicate? How does it help communicate the message of your inquiry? Well, my miss, my inquiry message will be communicated through the posters, which will talk about the negative effects of vaping. So I've answered all these questions. Um, 
and I'll just do one more, um, say the font. Um, it says, decide what font is best for your project. How does it help communicate the message of your inquiry? Well, it will say, I say, the font will be futuristic to match the fact that vaping is a new technology, but it needs to be readable and something that does not look out of place at a school because the font will be on the posters. Um, I also, it also needs to be something, uh, it's also the story is placed in the school because um, the people that would be playing my game uh, will be students. So that's kind of relating my inquiry uh, to the message of my inquiry, like the, the intention of my inquiry. Um, because I want students to uh, play my game and relate it to themselves. That's why I uh, put the game, I sitch, I, sorry, but I, that's why I located the game in the school so that they kind of relate to it. Um, I chose Oswald as it fits all these criteria. So I, that's just like a font that I found here. So Oswald. It kind of looks, you know, like something in the future-ish. And then something that doesn't look too weird at school. So that's like an example of font. Um, so basically, yeah, you just answer all these um, questions you find here. And then um, for a game, print design, magazines, you kind of have uh, the design. You, game and print design, you have to worry about the design. For video and audio, you have to worry about making a script. So uh, I'm just going to quickly roll through what this means for them. So like the game, the design would be kind of like um, you would show, you would illustrate like pictures or you draw them or you kind of show your inspiration for them. You just kind of have, have to show what they'll look like. Um, so you'll il illustrate what the character, what the background, what the enemies, what the objects look like. Um, the design for print design, magazines. You kind of like, you're just showing the layout of the print design in, the, uh, in this, in this uh, design. You're basically going to show like where pictures go, where text goes, like, and you have to mention exactly which pictures go where, which texts go where. Um, video or script, um, you basically have to do a play-by-play. -play. So like every scene, you have to break down what's going on um visually like where is the camera what is the camera looking at what angle it is uh you have to talk about who is in each scene and what they're saying and and then at the end you also have to mention why why you have that scene in it what is it actually how is it helping communicate your message um in the inquiry the audio is very similar but basically there's uh it's it's like um you have to show word by word what what is being said um, throughout your entire audio um, and you have to say mention who was saying it and um, mention the basically you, have, you also have to mention the uh, or, uh, the or communicate sorry uh, blanking right now communicate the message of your inquiry like how is it how is each single bit of your script like how is each scene of your script actually communicating the message of your inquiry? Um, so you're going to do two things. First, you're going to answer these questions. Um, the questions related to your, um, your project. And then you're going to do either a design or a script, depending on which project you're doing. Thank you so much for listening.